Hi everybody, this is Sherry, and I just wanted to show you a card that I made. Um, I was given this image, and I, I'm sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's the Greeting Farm, and she was so cute and just so fun to call her. And uh, so I colored her up with my Copics, the little bumblebee, and I'll zoom in here just a little bit and try to get rid of some of that glare. But there's the little bumblebee that went with her. And if you look, I, I put some Wink of Stella uh, clear on his wings and on her flower. And then a little bit on the circles on her boots. And um, so I was real happy with how she turned out. And um, she was just a real fun, simple card. And I don't normally do the little banner dovetail thing. But I really wanted to do that. And... I think it's actually the first time I've ever put one of those banners on a card before. And I used this paper that I got um, a long time ago from Michael's in the $1.50 bin. And this green here is right here in the background. And it's just green polka dots. And then the pink is with the flowers. Which I thought worked really good since she's got her little watering can and everything and I was actually going to put glossy accents on the can be, but I wanted it to look old so I wasn't sure you know if so I just left it because I couldn't figure out which was the right way to do it and I thought it looked fine this way and I have been having so much fun coloring my heart's still a mess and they don't know what's going on but this really relaxes me to color and and since I've been with my when my heart messes up it hurts and it you know I can't rest because my pulse goes so high and stuff so I stayed up last night and I did this image and this was probably I'm so tickled with how it turned out and my daughter I asked my daughter to look at it this morning she's like oh mom you did great you put you know the highlight where her leg would be and this is where her hip would be and this is just perfect and I was like Oh, that was purely accidental, but I was so happy she liked it. <laughs> so this is what I did last night, and I'm going to put it on a card, and I'll show you that in the next day or so. And um, I've got to work on some stuff for my niece, her baby shower, so I'll be working on that. So I might not be on doing mini cards lately, because no matter how I feel, I have to get that done for my niece. And... Um, so I'll be doing that and uh, but I've also been working on cards for teacher appreciation and I'll show you those as soon as I can and um, and I appreciate all of you who have you know left me messages letting me know that you're still praying because I called the doctor again yesterday and they're telling me they can't get me in until the middle of next month and and, you know, my I'm going to be in West Virginia to see my family the end of next month. You know, I get there the 31st. And, you know, with my sister's cancer being as bad as it is, you know, I can't miss this trip. So, if you all could continue to pray and pray that they find me a good cardiologist that can get me in sooner... Because I won't miss this trip to see my sister. And um, that's very important to me. And uh, so if you all could keep that in your prayers, I would appreciate it. I left the inside blank on this. And I used the 110 pound recollections card stock. I absolutely love that paper. I just wish they would make it in a 12 by 12. Because I really like doing 6 by 6 cards. And I have done more um, A2 size cards in the past, you know, couple weeks than I have in forever, it seems like, because I really got into the larger size where I had more room to do things. And, uh, but this card stock is so nice and heavy. I mean, it just makes your card feel substantial. I really, really like it. And it's, it's not expensive, guys. It's like, tw I think it was $12.99. For a pack of a hundred sheets, you can't beat that. And I'm like, woohoo, 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 makes me happy.
<laughs> and they have they only have it in white and cream but you know I use that I use the white as my base and you can't see it so I mean it's not a big deal you know I just wish it came in 12 by 12 so let's all you know get a hold of recollections and say come on guys catch up here with the rest of us crafters but that's about it that's all that's going on um, keep Mariah in your prayers because when we get back from West Virginia it won't be long before they um, schedule her open heart surgery again so that's something else I'd appreciate your prayers and if you could let me know what you think of my card if you like it give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and if you see something you think I could have done better please feel free to tell me you know I did pop the B up on uh, pop dots but everything else is flat so it's a real simple card to mail talk to you later guys thanks for visiting me and happy crafting bye